And uh, I'll see if I can get some more of this. It's like the whole system just drops in on you. Get the light on it, right? You can see more. Wow, guys, that's amazing. Right there is amazing. I know, you gotta have eyes, eyes to see. Backing up into my mirror, there you go. I couldn't see nothing, I had to back up. Wow, wow, wow. And, and if I had my fish eye, it's a whole lot better looking. Thing is so big. Well, I'm trying to get better at filming this where I don't miss a bunch of stuff because of not spending enough time watching it. Wow, that sun's bright. I don't think that's even the real sun. Look at that. Whoa. That's bad. That looks bad. That looks like um. A meteor just ripping through. Uh, I think it is. I think the one on the left there might be the same kind of thing. That definitely looks like some kind of rock debris. Just ripping. See that twist? Just ripping through. Roger Paul loves these kind of skies. I, I love them for videos, but I don't like them right on top of me. Wow. To my wife, I'll get the groceries in a minute. I got to record history here. This is history, guys. Look at that thing. Right here is the planet. See that? It's darker. Now, the real giveaway is like the dark shade on the clouds. We see how it's rounding off. Now, this right here could be the lead object. You see how it's cut off right there? Don't laugh. That could actually be just the whole blue over here could just be our, two, our Nibiru. But right here is a planet. And then right there is the lead object. You see the streak? Now see these right here streaking up. You see how fast they're moving, they're changing constantly. Anyways, this will be on our trailer video. Um, or maybe, maybe not. This one, if it keeps morphing, I'm just gonna stand here. How long it takes, I don't know. But I'll film it, and if this one needs to go into the editor, I'll do it to get the they really separate the planet. Notice all those chemtrails like in the background of this cloud, which is the bottom of a planet. Yeah, I know. Hard to believe, right? This could be a couple of the asteroids, the illuminating asteroids. So what kind of music do I hear on this? Let me see. How about play that funky music, white boy? Oh, I can't say white boy. Play that funky music. Yeah. Look at that thing. Looks like it's a face with the eyes. It's a planet. It's a lead object or something coming down. So depending on 15 foot sea level, depending on how um, how low you are sea level. See, this stuff just starts coming in where you can just barely see it. Debris. A lot of debris. Look at that thing right there or something. It's one of the asteroids. There's illuminating asteroids that come in front of Nibiru, which is blue, which is expecting to be right there. You see how the clouds are shady? 
you see this object up here, you know, it looks like it came from down here. You see, as you follow this, there's another object right there, and there's an object right there, and it comes down, and it's around the planet. These stripes are like planet cloud stripes from the planet. Some of them might be chemtrail right there, they're like that object. It's way out in space, it's way shadowed. See the shadowy clouds? That's another, that's another planet. Okay, I'm up to five minutes. Why stop, right? I'm trying to stay out of that glare. Show you the whole enchilada. Just a flying over. Yeah, my Vegas movie maker's giving me a hard time. I gotta buy more memory. I gotta buy two. Uh, I think two eight sticks of D D three or D D R D R R or D D R RAM for a Toshiba 750P. Anybody got any D D R laying around? It's only about twenty bucks for two sticks, and that will give me the ability to do more rendering because I get stuck rendering. I must have four videos right now, epic videos ready to show you guys. Anyways, God bless. Talk to you later. Got Jesus. <laughs>